Am I the only person who got fooled by this story? Tell me. Am I naive? Am I as gullible as I fucking look? Because I feel like I am. Because when I initially saw this story, I bought a hook, line, and sinker. Hook, line, and sinker. I was like, fuck, man. This is so sad. She didn't deserve that. And blah, 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 blah. This story. Woman tells of the story of being hit in the face of a brick by a man who couldn't handle rejection of her not giving him her number. Well, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a fuck. The brick is. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking grabbed a rock and it hit me in my fucking face. The brick and is. all y'all just fucking watch. What you y'all see that shit? What you y'all see that shit? shit? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Man, fuck all y'all niggas. Care about my face because I'm still gonna be prettier than all of y'all niggas because I have a pretty heart. But my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I will stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. I stand up for everybody. And nobody ever stands up for me. And my heart is. So it's now transpired on social media that this lady might have lied. And she raised a lot of money on GoFundMe, I think like 40K. And essentially, this lump that she has inside her head that she said is because of a brick, somebody hit her in the face of a brick because she denied giving her the number. They're now saying that this is something that she always gets when she has an allergic reaction to food or something. It's like a food allergic reaction. And then she uses that as opportunity to gain money on, on GoFundMe. And they've got accounts of other times that she's done in the past. And I'm like, oh, man, fuck, bro. So I'm a bit dubious on this. Um, this is an account from some dude online who's speaking about it. And I'm going to play it for you guys so you guys can see what you guys think about it. I'm still a little bit on the fence. I'm not too sure who I believe. She lied, just like Carly Russell. All you simps and panders is out there going at black men, trying to get I'm us to put ourselves out there for a black woman that we ain't related to and we ain't putting that me to. Oh, y'all tripping. That's what y'all sound like to me. I'm research sick. over me search. Let's get into it. There's still people that believe this story. She has multiple videos up of her having a similar allergic reaction. She has multiple GoFundMe with similar incidents. And her friend, they say she's a scammer. There's no police report. The owner of the restaurant said that's not on them. There's no blood after the being brick. Come on, guys. We are CSI social media investigators, and we graduated from YouTube University. How y'all going to tall out us on our investigation? Let's go. This appears to be a video made by Rose showing you all her after visit summary, her police report. It's showing that she did have an emergency room visit on September the 3rd. It was due to face a facial injury caused by trauma. You can see the multiple CT scans that she did have. The results show that she has a bone injury. Below her finger shows the possible reasons for the bone injury. This here is her doctor note. So to all of you who are saying that she has saline injections or an allergic reaction, stop the fucking cap. Oh, y'all believe in anything these days? I gotta stop believing these hoes. In the amount of times I've been tagged in this video, y'all didn't find it suspicious when this individual insert themselves? Let's see it. The fact that nobody is questioning the fact that this woman deleted her TikTok, privatized her Instagram, hasn't posted an update on her face on Instagram, Ooh. but has garnered almost $50,000 in six days. Christ. That's a little weird to me. Nobody's questioning her, despite the fact that she did this in 2020. Oh. Did it a little more subtly in 2022. Oh. And now again in 2023. Nobody's questioning it. Not a single soul. So if her Instagram is private, how would you know if she's uploading any new photos or not? Exactly. And you damn right I followed her back. Uh, Christina, go and take it away. Y'all saw a funky, nasty spirited white woman barely get up out of bed, sleep still on the eye, to make a video discrediting a black woman who said that she was the victim of a brutal, violent attack. I'm sharing any reputable sources, right? No credible sources, no proof, no evidence, just theories and vibes. Just theories and vibes, and that's who's shedding light on this entire scenario. That's who you're listening to. Okay, black people are trying to have a conversation about how we, we protect black women and this random white woman inserts herself and that's who you decide to listen to. 
instead of the black woman that had the video of the night that it happened and the video of her in the hospital and the video of, of her hospital reports, right, her medical records. We already know y'all don't like to listen to medical records because Meg Thee Stallion showed medical records, right? And Meg Thee Stallion showed her foot after damage of it getting shot and you still didn't believe her then. I had a video for every single time a man threatened, harassed me, or attacked me. I would be able to make a three-part trilogy film series. And you would still call me a liar. You would still call all these other black women liars like you already do. Don't believe black women. And it's getting old, okay? The plot line is running stale. You do everything you can to discredit us, whether we have evidence or not. And you'll listen to people who you know you don't know typically trust, right? Y'all don't typically trust white women because before, before, white women, you know they do. And I'm going to cut you off right there, Christina, because some people do trust white women, actually. Anyway, anyway. The point of this whole thing is that I'm kind of disappointed in myself for buying into. So there's 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 there's, there's, a, there's a couple of theories out there, right? There's this narrative online, especially on social media. I don't know why that is, but especially within like black Twitter spaces, where there's a lot of dislike and distrust for straight black men. One of them is that they feel as if like straight black men don't you know honor black women. They go for white women more. And there's also this theory that black men are like dangerous to black women. And they usually only like whites and gays, basically. But straight black dudes, they don't like. So there's always that fucking tension online. So I think this girl played a really clever game. Because the story is that she was outside of some bar, some restaurant. Some guys holler at her, try to get a number. She turns them down. And they're so angry that they hit her with a brick. And obviously the conversation around it when the first video went out is, oh, that's obviously out of order. Um, and obviously there was one side of Twitter that was like, oh, what did she say to those guys? Did she deserve it? Um, obviously one side of Twitter saying she doesn't matter what she said, no deserves to get bricked. And the conversation continued. I just saw the picture of her with a lump and I thought, oh my God, that's awful. And I felt really bad for it. And then of course she put GoFundMe out there to cover her medical costs. I didn't even think anything of it really because you know, you don't have free medical care over there. It is what it is. But it's a very clever ploy to get money in it it's a very proper pl pl ploy, ploy to get money because it tapped in it taps into the current beef that happens online now between straight black guys and black women right they're currently on especially on my side of twitter they're always fucking arguing when it comes to these men and women topics you get you garner a lot of sympathy because you the, of the fucking reaction whatever it looks like on the side of the face but if you actually investigate or think about it a bit further if you got bricked would your face look like that? Wouldn't you have an abrasion? Wouldn't you have a cut? Wouldn't you be bleeding? Wouldn't your jaw be broken or something? Like, it's a bit strange, isn't it? That you get bricked and that is how your face would look. That's the only thing that's, that's kind of dubious to me. Then the other part of it, I remember on the original video, when she's crying with her face lumped up when it happens, allegedly, she says to some guy standing next to her, oh, why didn't you help me? Uh, or something and the guy's response as always appreciate the content and even though i'm not that into fashion i hope this helps get your four thousand dollars hat that looks <laughs> like a duck <laughs> thank you thank you Chuck. <laughs> i love how you described it you just minimized it was it's actually a burberry hat designed by daniel lee but I, and it's for autumn winter 2023 but i love how you just reduced it to the four thousand dollar hat that looks like a duck <laughs> that's how ridiculous being into fashion is but thank you chocolate appreciate you brother um chocolate to the yeah chocolate to drop appreciate you brother uh <laughs> it looks like a duck this is something my mom would say what's that stupid hat you're wearing it looks like a duck what is these dumb hats? What is these these stupid hats? But yeah, anyway, um, so do you guys in the chat believe her? I don't, but I'm gonna say something. I kind of respect the scam. I respect the scam. She tapped into the 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 to the to the anger and the fucking frustration that exists already on social media, got her money, and then dipped. I can't res I can't respect the scam. She played everybody like a fiddle. I don't believe her, but I respect the scam. Like, what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect it. She 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 went to she went to a fucking seafood restaurant. She had some calamari that she knows she's allergic to. She has some shrimp. She probably had some cheese that she's not whatever that gives her this reaction. She ate that shit happily, knowing full well she was gonna get her money back one hundred fold. You know? <laughs> I kind of respect it. I gotta respect the scam. I'm not gonna lie. 
I grew up in Detroit. It's a stereotype of uh, social economic and these trash situations, white and black, and you never know if it's if a scam or not. Exactly. Yep, you're gonna give it to her, and she did it a few times on top of that. Exactly. Exactly. Z. She did this year in year out. Like every year, she seems to have a medical emergency. And imagine it's forty k. Forty k is enough for a salary in a year. You can you can divide forty k up twelve months of the year and have a pretty decent life. So she uses the forty k, uses it all up, goes on nice trips. You know, buys herself a really big watermelon and eats that sitting outside of her fucking house. Gets her gets her mani pedi done. Goes on a big shopping spree on fucking Sheen on Fashion Nova, goes to the club, puts some bottles. Then when she's running out of money again, she's like, okay, cool. Let's eat that player calamari. She eats the calamari. Looks like Elephant Man. And then we go again. <laughs> I can't I can't hate on the fucking scam. It's terrible. It's awful. But, you know. And then, and then she did a good thing. She didn't parade herself online too much. She got the money, withdrew the funds, and then she privated her accounts, deleted her TikTok. Shh. Shh, it's my money now. Shh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can't. Hey, I can't hate, man. Let a sister scam. We don't get to scam like this a lot, you know. We don't get to scam a lot like this. So when I see one of us scamming, I'm like, you know what? You're a fucking awful person. I'm never gonna let you in my house. I'm not gonna have an open till next to you. I'm not gonna trust you even with five pounds. Don't come near me. But respect from afar. 40k she got nearly 50k i said 50k she went over her flipping goal on gofundme all she had to do was eat eat a fucking a, a fucking what you call it a tuna melt 